Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I just had a thought cross my mind and I was thinking of becoming an astrologer. Now you might be saying, Mikey, what do you know about astrology? Well, let me tell you. I learned from an octopus. Cause where else would I learn from? The garage? Yeah, right. Ah, uh, astrology, the natural science that studies celestial objects and the phenomena that occur in the cosmos using math, physics, and chemistry in order to explain their origins and evolutions. Oh wait, never mind, wrong Wikipedia article. Ah, there we go. A range of divisionary practices that claim to discern info about human affairs and terrestrial events by studying apparent positions of celestial objects. I lost myself in natural science. Yeah, I never really got into things like horoscope or cared to learn more than the bare minimum about zodiac signs. I didn't really look to see what my horoscope was, but who knows, maybe that's the spice of life instead of variety, not knowing what your horoscope is. Whenever I see guys flirt with girls and they ask what their sign is, I always question why that is considered flirting. At least when compared to the tone he or she would talk in, rubbing the flirty's hair, or trying to buy them a drink. But back on topic, the only thing related to astrology that truly appealed to me were these Spongebob shorts called Astrology with Squidward. In addition to the episodes everybody knows about, Spongebob also had a bunch of shorts that were produced every so often. Most of the time they'd come out, it was related to a Spongebob special episode that Nickelodeon would be advertising the hell out of at the time and would air during commercial breaks to help promote the episode. For example, episode 192, Whatever Happened to Spongebob from season 5, was being hyped up as the next biggest Spongebob special event, and there were four shorts advertised as What If Spongebob Was Gone, and showed some of the characters doing things without Spongebob, usually with them going wrong by the end of the short. In addition to the shorts based on special episodes, there were also shorts made for other occasions like the Kids' Choice Awards, or sometimes they'd feature crossovers with other Nickelodeon characters like the Merry Nickmas shorts that came out in 2002. But the first Spongebob related shorts that came out were a series of shorts called Astrology with Squidward. These came out during the course of 2000 to 2001, airing on TV during commercial breaks for whatever time of the year for whatever the zodiac sign in question was. As the name implies, Squidward talks about the particular zodiac sign, describing them from the picture that would be shown, and then predicts their future for the coming week or year. These are some of the more uncommon of the Spongebob shorts around, as they only aired during the 2000 to 2001 season, and they were rarely shown again after that, if at all. But thankfully, they have been preserved online by the official Spongebob YouTube channel, which is pretty great. The biggest and only downside to this is that if you watch them there, the Squidward segments are interrupted by a clip from a random episode. That clip was usually about the character on the sign that would be shown during the short. However, even though there are 12 zodiac signs, there are only 6 shorts for 6 specific zodiac signs that were officially produced by Nickelodeon, and the other 6 are believed to be lost media by the fans. We'll get into that later, but let's check out the shorts that did come out and see what Nickelodeon was too scared to show outside of the certain time that they were released. I don't know which of these came out first, so I'm just going to go in the order that they are listed on the wiki. The first short is about Cancer, Sign of the Crab, and Mr. Krabs is on the picture. Squidward says that Cancers are very good at causing problems and blaming them on others, saying that many elected officials are Cancers. Oh, I thought politics came from hell. Squidward predicts that all cancers will fall asleep and wake up seven times in the following week, and says that it's bad karma to be animated seafood, which might explain why he can speed up for no reason in the show in recent memory. The next short is on Gemini, Sign of the Twins, showing two identical paramedics on the picture. He says that Gemini experienced deja vu, the feeling that this moment has happened before. But not without experiencing deja vu, the feeling that this moment has happened before. Squidward says that Gemini's moon is in Uranus, so they smell funny, and predicts that in the coming year, Gemini will experience deja vu, the feeling that this moment has happened before, and reminds us to not touch his stuff. Yeah, say that to my brother. The next short focuses on Pisces, sign of the fish, and the sign shows this background fish from various Spongebob episodes. 
Squidward says people don't trust Pisces because they lie a lot, even when they think they aren't telling the truth, and advises Pisces who want to stop lying to never talk again. His prediction for Pisces is that their nose will continue working just fine throughout the year. But what about the next year? Squidward states that psychics will tell you the correct info if you tip them well. The next short is on Leo, sign of the lion, and Plankton is on the picture dressed as a lion. Leos apparently don't have pleasant voices and grow up to be junior high school vice principals. Squidward's prediction for the year is that everybody that every Leo knows will get one year older and advises those who live with Leos to do something about the Leos voices. He then states that his powers are real just like all psychics. The next short is on Sagittarius, sign of a centaur with a bow and arrow representing archery and shows Spongebob with a horse's body and a bow and arrow. Squidward describes them as having good aim and they sh** when they walk. His prediction is that Sagittarius's won't eat enough green vegetables in the coming year. Sounds like me. Squidward says that if you smelt it, you dealt it. The final short is about Taurus, sign of the bull, and the picture shows Patrick dressed as a bull. Tauruses are clumsy and they break things easily, and they don't get invited to people's houses because of that. <sighs> Squidward predicts that Taurus will eat a variety of different foods in the coming year, and reminds us that no matter what our sign is, we owe him $5. But I don't have my sign anymore. And those are all the Astrology with Squidward shorts. In summary, I do quite like them. When I saw them for the first time, I thought it was pretty cool to finally witness them since they were from so long ago. I thought they were pretty funny, but I do wish that Nickelodeon uploaded them online without the random Spongebob clips interrupting them, because they did honestly break up the tone and mess with the pacing so much. They'd be so much better if they didn't have the random clips popping up, especially since that's how they were broadcast back in the day, and the only way I'd be able to see them as is would be watching a fan edit online or trying to find the originals. Maybe if they were released as bonus features on a DVD or something, they wouldn't feature them being interrupted by Spongebob clips, and that would be so much better because whoever owns that DVD would be able to experience the shorts with no interruptions. That would hit the spot. But putting that aside, I think Squidward is hilarious as an astrologer, and who knows? He might make a better living if he took that up as a career instead of the Krusty Krab or trying to get his clarinet career to take off. They poop while they're walking. So never march behind them in a parade. Many famous fibbers and elected officials are cancers. If no one ever invites you to their house, you're probably a Taurus. They are only roughly 30 seconds long, but I see that as the most appropriate length for how long these shorts are. Since they're so similar, there's no need to compare them, but I do know I don't have a least favorite short out of all six of them. I wish they would have been around for longer because I would have loved to see them on TV as they were meant to be shown, because I was too young when they were officially coming out. For a couple of fun facts, the clarinet sound Squidward makes at the beginning or ending is the same sound that Gary makes when he plays the clarinet in episode 33, The Paper, from season 1. <laughs> After 2001, they stopped airing during commercial breaks, but they were put on the official Nicktoons TV channel for a while until they weren't. They've even been dubbed in a couple other languages, like German, Polish, and Russian. But now, let's address the elephant in the room. It's a giraffe! As previously stated, there are only six shorts made, meaning that the zodiac signs of Aries, sign of the ram, Virgo, sign of the virgin, Libra, sign of the scales, Scorpio, sign of the scorpion, Capricorn, sign of the goat, or Aquarius, sign of the water bearer. It has been debated for years if those shorts were actually made or not. For me personally, I didn't think they would have been made if they weren't listed on the wiki, but I totally get why there would be the speculation. But this was officially debunked by showrunner Vincent Waller, who stated that shorts for the remaining six signs were indeed never produced, and the ones available online were the only ones made. While it makes sense that they were never produced officially since they're not listed online, it's still disappointing to find out that they were never officially made. But I do wonder if they considered making all 12 zodiac signs at one point. Hell, in 2023, Paramount released merchandise related to Astrology with Squidward, featuring some of the other characters representing the other zodiac signs, like Pearl as Aquarius, 
Larry as Aries, Sandy as Capricorn, Squidward as Libra, Gary as Scorpio, and Karen as Virgo. And those just made me wonder what shorts based on the remaining six signs would have been like. Astrology with Squidward is quite an interesting set of shorts. It would have been nice if they were shown more often on TV whenever they were on, or at the very least, if they had been preserved online in a more pleasant way. But I guess I can't complain too much since at least they are preserved and they haven't just become lost media. And if Nickelodeon didn't make shorts on the last six signs, damn it, I will. And now, astrology with Mikey. Today, we're discussing Aries, sign of the ram. Aries are smart and sturdy, so they're usually pretty good at figuring out solutions to problems. But if you're trying to break down a locked door, never use an Aries as a battering ram. My prediction for Aries in the coming month? You will use a computer in some way, shape, or form. I'm Mikey Emery, your not Nicktoon astrologer, saying that if you complete your education, your parents won't kick your ass. Today, we're discussing Virgo, sign of the virgin. Virgos are the hardest to have sex with, which is why they're virgins in the first place. My predictions for Virgo are, within the next seven days, you will not have sex. I'm Mikey Emery, your not Nicktoon astrologer, here to reinstate that my name is Mikey and I am not animated in any way whatsoever. Today, we're talking about Libra, sign of the scales. Libras tend to weigh themselves a lot using scales because they're trying to make sure they eat healthy, whether they're self-conscious or egomaniacs. Chances are, yes. My prediction for Libra today is you will drink water before going to bed tonight. I'm Mikey Emery, your knock Nicktoon astrologer, reminding you to just be who you are. Because somebody had to be you. Say hello to Scorpio, sign of the scorpion. Most Scorpios tend to be sharp and pinch people a lot. If you're a Scorpio and nobody wants to hug you or shake your hand, it's nothing personal, they just don't want to be pinched. My prediction for all Scorpios is that you will continue walking perfectly fine for the next month. I'm Mikey Emery, your Knock Nicktoon astrologer, reminding you that nothing is perfect. Except a good fruit smoothie, can't go wrong with that. Say hello to Capricorn, sign of the goat. Capricorns tend to not have a problem with eating. In fact, they often find themselves to never be full, which often makes them very unwelcome at Thanksgiving. Some advice for Capricorns out there, eat a lot of fruit and vegetables if you find yourself to be hungry a lot. My prediction for Capricorns in the coming year, you will continue to eat, sleep, breathe, repeat. I'm Mikey Emery, your non Nicktoon astrologer, reminding you all out there to continue being human beings. Introducing Aquarius, sign of the waterbender, I mean water bearer. Most Aquarius tend to get wet even in the most unlikely of scenarios, even when they're not trying to get wet. Many champion swimmers and water athletes are Aquarius. My prediction for Aquarius is that you will shower sometime within the next 36 hours. I'm Mikey Emery, your not Nicktoon astrologer, here to say that for any of you aspiring astrologers out there, I'm just as good to learn from as an octopus. 